Hi guys, today we're talking about split charge relays and the differences between the two types you can get. One is switched with the ignition and the other one is a uh, voltage sensing relay. So I'll show you uh, the setup that we've got in this vehicle, which is a works vehicle, and, uh, and go through the wiring and what, how they work and all those sort of things. Right, let's get started. So this vehicle is a uh, 2007 Citroen Relay, um, but it'll be the same for all vehicles, the same idea. Um, so we'll just show you, uh, first of all, um, you need to connect to the battery and you need a inline fuse, which should come with a kit if you buy it as a kit. So um, I'll just, uh, I'll show you the wiring from the battery first and then we'll go into the back of the van and show you the uh, where we've placed the relays on this one. So right, here's the uh, battery under the floor in the front of the van and as you can see what we've done is put the um, cable that runs to the fuse holder onto the positive terminal. It's got a ring connector on there and then we've put it in this, uh, this pole here. So this is the uh, connector. As you can see it's broken. Uh, broken the circuit at the moment. This is the fuse, the 40 amp fuse that goes in there. As you can see, you just loosen off those nuts, slide that in, and tighten them back up. We're leaving it out for now because we're going to be looking at the uh, relay. What we've done is done the uh, cable under the floor and then it runs up the side of the van into the back. So I'll show you that. So here we are in the back of the van, um, and over my shoulder, you can see the um, split charge relay there. Um, this one is a switched one, which works on the ignition. Um, as soon as the ignition's turned on, the, um, the, the relay creates the join between the, the starter battery and the, the leisure battery in the back of the van. Um, the problem with this one is, once you turn the ignition on, if the leisure battery in the back of the van is very low, you'll notice a voltage difference um, on the starter battery because it just creates that circuit, you see. Um, so what we're going to do today is swap this one that's switched by the ignition for a voltage sensing relay. So as soon as um, the engine is actually started and the voltage rises from the alternator, then that's when the relay will kick in. And then once the voltage drops, once you turn the engine off, that's when the, the relay will, will cut that circuit. So at least the leisure battery will never have any impact on the starter motor or starter battery, should I say. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you the wiring that we've done with the switched relay to start with and then we're going to remove this one and fit a voltage sensing relay in there and I'll show you the wiring for that one as well. Right so here we are, um, this is the uh, switched relay so this comes from the ignition. So the, the cables we've got here on the two big, uh, two larger terminals, one is from the starter battery and one is to the leisure battery. Um, in the back of the van. We've also got two cables on here. One is an earth cable and the other one is the switched live which comes from the, uh, the ignition. Um, so that's how it's wired up. So basically it goes from, from, a leisure, uh, from the starter battery in. As soon as the ignition is turned on it creates the loop to the leisure battery in the back and then you just have an earth to create uh, to allow the switch to work. Um, so it's a very simple setup but the voltage sensing relay is even more simple. So I'll show you that now. So this is the uh, voltage sensing relay that we have here. Um, and you can see that you've got cut in voltage and cut out voltage. So cut in voltage, as soon as the alternator produces that much uh, voltage, 13.7 volts, then it will cut in and it will make the loop between the starter battery and the battery in the rear. And then the cut out is once the engine's turned off and the voltage ends up coming down to 12.8 volts, then this will cut back out again and uh, it will stop the loop. So once your uh, leisure battery is discharging, it's not gonna be discharging the front battery. This one's even more simple to wire up. Um, so we only have two poles on here and this black lead is the earth. So there's no ignition switch wire that needs to go in here because it's um, voltage sensing instead of being a switched relay. So that's what we're that's what we're going for today, and we're going to swap these two relays over. Right, show you what we've got now. Like I said, we've taken off the um, 
the split charge relay that gets switched on with the ignition and now we've got this voltage sensing one so we've got the earth lead in which just goes to a screw on the chassis anywhere then we've got the motor battery with the red dot so uh, the starter battery is in there and a connection to the leisure battery uh, is there and that is it this voltage sensing relay does exactly what it says just does everything uh, everything for you so it's got a little backing plate that you screw to the van screw that to it and then uh, and then that's it you should be ready to go there we go it's all wired up cap on and then there's a little light here that will once you uh, start the van then uh, that light will come on once the uh, alternator is producing the uh, right amount of voltage for the relay to click on and then right I hope you found this uh, video helpful and interesting um, like you say there's the uh, voltage sensing relay ready to go and um, if you've got any questions then uh, don't hesitate to uh, to ask and I'll try and answer them thanks